All right, now on to our debate on the buck stops here this evening. What does the secret ballot illustrate to us? Is it a new moment in Indian politics, a new moment for intra-party democracy, or is it really another variation of proxy rule? Does the Congress, with its high command culture, need to learn a lesson or two from this? And is the BJP's Karnataka headache really over? Let's introduce our panel this evening. Abhishek Singhvi joining us, Congress uh, Member of Parliament, as well as the party's national spokesperson. Also joining us, Chandan Mitra, Rajya Sabha Member of uh, Parliament. Uh, also joining us from Bangalore tonight, uh, somebody who should uh, and perhaps does feel very satisfied today, Justice Santosh Hegde, the former Lok Ayukt, whose report is actually uh, going to form the basis of the governor asking that Mr. Yedurapa be prosecuted. And with us in the studio, well-known economist and commentator, Lord Meghna Desai. If I can start with you, uh, Abhishek Singhvi. What do you make of what has happened in Karnataka today? Because two parallel developments have taken place. The governor has asked for Mr. Yedurapa to be prosecuted, but the BJP has stuck to its word, made sure that Mr. Yedurapa is out of the way, and conducted a secret ballot of its MLAs to elect a new leader. Do you believe that this is the new way forward, that perhaps all parties should now follow this method? Uh, Barkha, it would be a very cruel joke if either the way past or the way present or the way future would be the BJP Karnataka way. It is the classic example of how not to chart your course. First of all, <coughs> to consider that the BJP has kept its word and replaced with Yerappa, Mr. Yadurappa. I think uh, here is a chief minister who has gone screaming, shouting, reluctantly, virtually forced from office at the precipice and the edge of a major revolt. People say with in fact, not people, he himself says that with some kind of a deal struck that I'll be back in less than six months. I think this is extremely murky. It is certainly not the graceful exit and the promise being fulfilled which the BJP, you are saying, has claimed. And I think it's a big black blot on the BJP's uh, surface. But number two is very important, Parka. Yeah. Uh, you are, it's also the BJP is trying to make, make a virtue out of necessity. Certainly the Congress is not going to be trying to follow the BJP in any manner in Karnataka. This whole thing about a, a secret ballot, apparently the reason is that uh, there was a huge amount of fight between the potential three successor candidates and a secret ballot was devised as some kind of a via media, not but as Abhishek, some kind but of Abhishek, a virtual isn't that a good way to settle? Party democracy. But Abhishek, all if over the world... If party democracy, Barkha... One sec, one sec, Barkha. Uh, you please don't extrapolate a mere uh, secret ballot to be an intra-party democracy. If there was intra-party democracy, you wouldn't have had the four days of drama, drama and notanki which you had in the Karnataka Natak. I, I was just going to say that while we all know that there were, uh, there were uh, different contenders, different camps in a bitterly divided Karnataka BJP, my question was going to be why isn't a secret ballot a good and democratic way to settle those differences? After all, in the United States of America, you have primaries, uh, for example, to determine who the candidates should be for different races uh, in both the Republicans and the Democrats. So you may, you may criticize how the BJP has handled BS Yadurapa, but the concept of a secret ballot, is there something to emulate uh, when it comes to that? No, I, I certainly agree with you. I, am, I was not criticizing the concept. I thought the question was that the BJP is claiming the moral high ground and having done the uh, secret ballot. Well, certainly not. The BJP has shown how, precisely how, a transformation or a change of guard should not happen. Now, as far as the secret ballot is concerned, I agree with you in principle. It's a good thing. But it is something which has to be an evolving model. It has to evolve and come from within Indian democracy itself. Okay. It has been tried by both Congress and BJP in diverse situations. It hasn't always worked because our system is different. It requires a certain supervision by the high command. But yes, I agree with you that in the evolving democracy, I have no doubt that in the next few years, maybe in the next five, seven, ten years, we will have a paradigm okay. where more and more actual, genuine secret ballots will take place and not the kind of a farce you've seen in Karnataka. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.